Hello everybody, I'm Jet, and today I'm back with another tutorial, this time on a service called Pandabuy. Now, your first question might be, what is Pandabuy? Well, Pandabuy is a service that allows you to buy items from Chinese websites in a more accessible way. This is usually called an agent. Now, I'm going to teach you how to use Pandabuy to buy things like clothes, shoes, and other accessories. First, find the link of the item you'd like. I usually use the r slash fashion reps reddit or the Pandabuy discord for this. Once you find your link, paste it into the Pandabuy search system and it should pop up like this. Here, you may be able to see the dimensions, weight, and options for your item. We're going to ahead and go pick what applies to us and add it to cart. Now, an important step I usually follow before ordering anything is checking the QC, or quality check, as this is pictures from other users who've ordered that show a closer look at the item and can help you verify it's what you're looking for in terms of quality. Now, when we're satisfied with the product we chose, we're going to purchase it. And this is pretty much the same as in every online store, you select your payment method and pay. After you've paid, your order now needs to be paid for by your agent, who will then have the item shipped to the Panda by warehouse. The process for it to reach a warehouse from purchase can take a few days, so be patient. Once it reaches the Panda by warehouse, you might be asking, well Jet, how am I meant to get this to my 6 story mansion? And well, the process is a bit trickier than your usual checkout. I'm going to go through every continent and how you should declare your goods and what shipping method to use. Now, if available, no matter where you are, you should use a tariffless, also known as a tax-free line. This is basically so you don't have to pay any taxes upon arrival of your package. And let's go ahead and start with Canada, for example. If you're Canadian, you should declare about $14 flat for your entire package. Doesn't matter what shipping method you use or the weight of your package. Next up, Europe. If you're shipping via tariffless, or in more simple terms, a tax-free line, you can declare any value between $16 and $21 for the whole parcel. If you're using any other shipping line that isn't tax-free, declare about $12 per kilo. And if you're, for example, at 3,600 grams, round up to 4,000 and declare $48. You should pretty much round up any opportunity you get. If you're in the UK, do not exceed $135 in your declaration, as it would breach the tariff threshold. If you're in Oceania or America, follow the same $12 per kilo rule. Remember, when declaring, use System Declare. Oh, and uh, for the month of April, you can use code LUCKYAPRIL for 5% off your shipping cost, and you can find more discount codes on the Panda by Discord. And that was pretty much it. Once you've shipped, just wait for it to arrive, then enjoy your haul. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you like more content like this, please subscribe. Enjoy your day everybody, see you later.